I'm here with head baseball coach Mike Davidson and we're going to get a little bit tour of the uh, phase two of the Sharp Family Champion Center. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. I'm going to move back a little bit, take a look at it. See that it's coming quite along. We've got so we've got the um, the outside done. We've got the roof on top over there. And now what we need to do, I guess, is have some walls in there, right, Mike? Yeah, that would help. All right. So, Coach, okay. So tell us a little bit about the building. So as you come in here, this will be double doors uh, leading into a hallway that goes all the way across the front. That will actually lead into a 40 by 40 weight room. Um, here uh, on this side, as you go down the hallway, as you're heading, I guess, what is that, west, uh, you'll run into our locker rooms, which will be a 40 by 40, and then our bathrooms, restrooms, things of that sort. Uh, on the back side here is, in the back corner there is storage, mm -hmm. uh, as you come off that door and everything. Uh, so you'll be able to walk directly into the uh, hitting facility here, mm -hmm. there'll be a walkway here to go into that door and then a, a walkway going down the back side. Uh, then there'll be uh, a meeting, greeting, or actually train, uh, a coach's offices will be next. So where you see the windows and stuff are at, on both ends are the coach's offices. In between there is a meeting room uh, where we have where we can meet with our players or we can meet with families and stuff recruiting wise. Uh, we'll have our own bathrooms and stuff in the coaches' offices on the back side, so you can see where that's plumbed up. There'll be showers, uh, commode, and stuff in both softball and baseball uh, on that part. So then this will be showers and stuff here in the back where you see it stubbed up. These are your restrooms coming off here for the locker rooms. So this here. on this side will be locker rooms? This way, yeah. This, this way? Or going that way. Going that yeah, way. going back east. Right, so there'll be a 40 by 40 locker room and then your bathroom will start somewhere about right in here. Okay. And you'll have showers, stuff here. You'll have sinks, toilets, all that in here, uh, joining that. So the public restrooms are here right in the middle. So they'll butt up here. So as you come in, they're working on the, where you drive in. Uh, we actually have this set up to where you can drive the bus underneath uh, and we can load and stuff, not have to be in weather. And then we have a canopy here coming in the doors. Okay, so and then this is actually a, a drive -through. it could be a drive through. Okay. Yeah. Eventually we are, we're hoping. Uh, and then you'll run into restrooms and stuff. Men and women's restrooms right here in the middle. Okay. So where's the actual main entrance for, for the, um, for the building, the actual main entrance? Right here. So, but it's a drive through. Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a drive through, but there's a canopy and stuff right here in between there, so they can drive the bus through. Oh, understand. Okay. We can load, and then we have the canopy gotcha. back so inside. Can actually, so there actually be a, a door here over there. Yeah, there'll, there'll be two. There'll be two glass doors here. Right, yeah. Okay. And nope. then they'll just drive through up, and then be back out. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So okay. eventually, we hope to have a parking lot in here. They just drive in and drive out. Gotcha. This will all be covered mm -hmm. uh, in a canopy. You'll walk in here. There'll be a foyer. Uh, greeting area and stuff and then on each side you've got men's and women's restrooms okay. on each side of it and that that all bangs off that way then we have a hallway that continues down here and you've got mechanical and all that and storage again coming in here there'll be a hallway going up on the back side of women's locker room mm -hmm. their restrooms and stuff will be just like ours you just flip it mm -hmm. okay and then in the back corner over there is our laundry room uh, next to that is the training room and all that, and then the coaches' offices, okay. all that stuff. And then we have bathrooms and stuff for the coaches on this side, and then we have a meeting room mm -hmm. uh, there in the middle again where we can meet with people, uh, whether it be recruits, uh, whether it would be fundraising stuff, whether it just be meeting with a few people on our team. If we have to have a meeting or whatever, we'll be able to have uh, a little uh, area there. And then it ties into the back side of our, our restrooms again, and then our lock, I mean, our coaches offices. So if you see the windows, mm -hmm. that's where the coaches offices are going to be. And then again, in that far corner is just storage and mechanical stuff and the down there. And the baseball locker rooms will be where? On this side, on over, that there. Side. over yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. We'll, we'll share a wall with the weight room. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. We'll basically be, actually there'll be a walkway in between there, mm -hmm. uh, with that. 
So it just makes like a square going around as you come in the door. There's a six foot walkway to the front mm -hmm. between the weight room and our locker room. There'll be a six foot hallway. And then back here is another six foot hallway. So these are showers, all that stuff coming off. Mm -hmm. And then you have a six foot hallway here that runs the length of the back of the building that goes into coaches' offices or whatever. Then you still go in the hitting facility in that one main door there. Right. So, both those go to uh, the hitting facility? Yes. Okay. Yep. And there'll be a window cut out there too, also where you can see in. That's cool. And there you can go back and yeah. forth. So hopefully next week we start working on windows and doors. We're still working on that. They're working on getting the canopy uh, taken care of. And then we move to fire suppression. Mm -hmm. And then that'll take a couple weeks mm -hmm. for them to get all the fire suppression and everything put in and mounted. Uh, and get everything, and then we have to get it inspected. And we've got to pass the inspection on that. Then we can move forward, and then they'll start with the foyer and the bathrooms, putting up walls uh, and doing all that. And then we've still got to make some decisions on flooring and mm -hmm. things like that that we're going to do as we as we come in. But there'll be two glass doors that you come into there. Okay. Uh, that will have Sharps Family Champion Center and stuff on it. Uh, and then you can see our LEDs. Our LED board is here which is boxed up right here. It goes on the end down here where the brick wall's at, right on the outside. Right over here? Yep. So, so now on, that's going on the inside or the outside? Outside. Okay, nice. So it goes on the outside so we can put up when we're having games or if we're having recruits in, mm -hmm. things like that as they drive into campus, they so, can so see. So like the new scoreboard in the, in the greenhouse, that over here will be sort of kind of using the same thing, you know, yeah. for recruiting purposes and such. It'll be really nice. Too. Yeah, it's an actual video board where we can put videos and stuff up on it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So. On game day and stuff like that, we can put up what's going on, when we're playing, or we can be, have a rolling schedule for the week, what's coming on for the week. Or like I said, if we have recruits coming in, we right. can go in there and- Put their pictures up and yeah. just, uh, make it a big deal. Right, so as they come into campus, they can see, hey, welcome Philly, mm -hmm. Seward County baseball, or to softball or whatever, as they first come in and, mm -hmm. and do all that. So uh, it's turned out to be a really, really nice building. And, and uh, we're really excited about uh, getting it all finished. Yeah and uh, actually calling it a home. And we're still fundraising dollars. We still need money to complete mm -hmm. uh, as we move forward. So uh, if anybody wants to jump in and help out $1, $5, or $1,000, it doesn't matter to us. We're, anything and everything helps us get finished mm -hmm. uh, and where we need to do. And so we have to thank the community for the most part. All this money's been fundraised right here uh, in our community, our, our community has really stepped up to help us one with the hitting facility and then now phase two uh, with the Sharps uh, and Gary Dunham and people like that are still leading the forefront of that and helping us out. So uh, if you'd like to donate money, contact our uh, development office. Uh, feel free to contact me uh, in the baseball office, whatever. We'll get you to the right people and, and what, whatever we need to do to, uh, to get you taken care of. But uh, this is going to be something that will be great for the community and something that we'll use at the end to give back to help run camps and, and do different things like that. Because this allows us to open the hitting facility up uh, for public use uh, where people can use it. And it also allows us to start running camps, uh, being able to give back to the community and, and uh, help cre increase baseball and softball and, and things of that sort so that we can continue to grow. And, and move forward because we want to try to is get as many hometown kids as we can and uh you know this is just going to help us in that process of getting that done yeah i mean right now if you look at it it sort of doesn't look like much but I'm like you know before it was really nothing there was just dirt rather than concrete and there were no walls and but now it's 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 really be, it's coming becoming something and i know that so it's just like the hitting facility you know like once they start laying down it's gonna be something pretty special yeah there's nobody within a thousand miles of us that has what we have and so this is going to really help us recruiting wise and and getting kids to come from far off because you know we don't have full rides and scholarships and things but we're able to do other things with facilities and uh and and things that we do that way so you know uh there's different ways to to get what you need to get done. And, and uh, sometimes facilities appeal more towards people than actual money. Uh, the opportunities for these kids to be able to use this all the time is, is tremendous. Uh, but also, again, we, we have to remind ourselves it's the community also, and uh, we're gonna be able to, uh, you know, be able to give things back to the community and we'll have an opportunity for the community to have access to this also.
Okay, Mike, I appreciate you taking the time, and we look forward in the upcoming months to doing another update, and you actually begin to see walls up over, hopefully, your electricity and stuff like that, and get it all done. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're at the mercy like everybody else is right now with trying to get steel and trying to get metal to do the walls and mechanicals and everything else. It's uh, when they get here, they get here, but hopefully we're going to have windows and doors here sometime next week. They'll be able, we got one door in, but uh, we've got several that, that still need to come and, uh, and doing that. I know on the front deal here, they're going to cut glass and lay it in there. Uh, I think instead of actually putting true windows in there, which will help speed things up a little bit, but we're going to get slowed down a little bit with fire suppression because while they're in here, they'll, they'll be all over the place. So we'll just get out of their way for the next couple of weeks and let them get their job done. And then we can come in and start framing up and, uh, we'll start working on the entryway and bathrooms and all that, and we'll work ourselves work ourselves back. All right. Okay, Coach, I appreciate the time. Thanks so much. You bet. Appreciate you.